Item. SCP-1000. Object Class. Keta. Special Containment Procedures. All media reports related to SCP-1000 are to be examined for potential verifiability. All organizations and individuals investigating SCP-1000's existence are to be kept under surveillance by Mobile Task Force Zeta-1000 and discredited or administered amnestics. All physical signs of SCP-1000's existence must be retrieved and kept in Foundation custody, and replaced with decoy items if necessary. Alleged sightings of SCP-1000 must always be investigated by MTF Zeta-1000, however trivial the claim. Absolutely no contact with wild or captive instances of SCP-1000 is allowed without prior approval by Director Jones. Any interaction between SCP-1000 and humans, including Foundation personnel, must be reported to Director Jones immediately. Description. SCP-1000 is a nocturnal, omnivorous ape, classified in the Hominini branch along with genera Pan and Homo. Adults range in size from 1.5 to 3 meters, 5 to 10 feet, in height, and weigh between 90 and 270 kilograms. 200-600 lbs. They have gray, brown, black, red, and occasionally white fur. They possess large eyes with good vision, a pronounced brow ridge, and a sagittal crest on the forehead similar to that of the gorilla, but present in both sexes. Their intelligence is on par with that of pantroglodytes, the common chimpanzee. SCP-1000 evolved alongside Homo sapiens existing contemporaneously with proto-humans and humans in large numbers until 10,000 to 15,000 years ago, when an extinction event eliminated all but 1-5% of their population. This event was triggered by SCP-1000 contracting an anomalous pseudo-disease classified as SCP-1000-F1. This disease is passed on at the genetic level and affects every present-day instance of SCP-1000. The majority of SCP-1000 instances are born immune to the effect. Those who are not born immune quickly die. The effect of SCP-1000-F1 is as follows. Any hominid, including humans, chimpanzees, bonobus, and non-immune instances of SCP-1000, that directly or indirectly observes any instance of SCP-1000. 1000 has a minimum 2% chance of being instantly killed through anomalous means via permanent cessation of brain function. This percentage is cumulative, and the longer a human views SCP-1000, the higher the chance of instantaneous death increases, at a rate of plus 1% chance per 20 minutes of viewing. This effect varies between individual members of SCP-1000 species with some individuals carrying a death chance of 90%. The effect is also produced by dead individuals, though small fur samples do not exhibit the effect. Known means of preventing this effect are small scale only and include, redacted, see attached documentation, level 3 clearance required. Because of SCP-1000's close relation to humanity, it is considered likely that SCP-1000-F1 could eventually transfer to human carriers. Any instance of SCP-1000 finding its way to a major population center could constitute an class end of the world scenario with a minimum death toll of redacted, and possible extinction of humanity. Fortunately, SCP-1000 appears to instinctively avoid human contact. It is not currently feasible to exterminate SCP-1000 entirely. The highest known population concentrations of SCP-1000 are at present located in the Pacific Northwest region of North America and the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. As of comma these populations remain extant. SCP-1000's presence and data expunged have also been documented within the past five years on every continent. All known significant populations of SCP-1000 located near human population centers have been eliminated. SCP-1000 came to the attention of the Foundation via contact by Dr. Franz M. in 14 with the Children of the Sun, who identified themselves as outcast members of the Serpent's Hand. This group has since been completely destroyed by the Foundation, 
Due to their reluctance to surrender information about SCP-1000, SCP, and SCP open bracket since reclassified as SCP-1000 and SCP-1000, remaining members have either joined the Foundation, or have gone into hiding, presumably as members of the Serpent's Hand. Weapons, tools, and other unique pseudo-technological resources in possession of the organization have been classified as SCP-1000-001 through SCP-1000. These resources have been made use of by the Foundation in multiple instances. For a full list, see Document 1003534 Why Level 3 Clearance Required. Access to surviving ex-members of the Children of the Sun is restricted to personnel with clearance level 4, 1000, unless given direct authorization for contact by Director Jones. Further information is available to personnel with clearance level 3, 1000, or above. Personnel with clearance level 3, 1000 or above are required to read document alpha 1596 to 1000 addendum 1466 x update to special containment procedures as of comma scp 1000 special containment procedures no longer include procedure 516 lumina data expunged indicates that scp 1000 may be developing a resistance to the sonic element data expunged will not develop further, so that procedure 516 Lumina can still be used in emergency situations. Investigation into alternate means of reliably keeping SCP-1000 away from human population centers is underway. Whether SCP-1000 resistance to procedure 516 Lumina was calculated and as such may be a sign of SCP-1000, redacted, or coincidental, by chance of natural species variation is not known at this time.